You can do it. You can do it. Four strong words. You can do it. Say it. Say it to yourself. Say it out loud. I can do it. Following a marriage breakup, you can redefine yourself. Say it. I can redefine myself. You may want to write it down. And you can find a sense of self without needing a marriage and without needing a partner. Notice I use the word needing here. There is a difference, a clear difference between needing something and enjoying something. You may enjoy a partner and you may enjoy a relationship without needing that relationship. We have our children, we have our friends. We can enjoy our children and our friends. We don't own our children or our friends. And we can live a glorious, fulfilled life following a marriage breakup. We can live a glorious, fulfilled life following a marriage breakup. We can break old behavioural patterns. We can redefine ourselves. And we can conquer the world, so to speak, while simultaneously paying a mortgage and volunteering at basketball. I'm not saying we can do it easily, but the operative word here is can. If you think of the definition of the word can which involves capacity, ability, capability. Can do words that don't include needing. Can do. If you can visualize it, if you can dream it, you can do it. Say to yourself, I can visualize it, I can dream it, and I can do it. Oh, I've been there. Sometimes I'm still there. I know the pain, and I know that you can get through it. Not only can you get through it, but I know you can rise above it. And you can be a remarkable human being, despite and in spite of your loss. Okay, okay, so the marriage is over. Until death do us part, so they say. Marriages are supposed to be for life, aren't they? Marriage is society's structural answer and our romantic answer to a lifelong commitment between two people. Marriage is supposed to be one of the foundations of our social fabric. So when marriages end, it can be devastating. It can be really devastating. All right, let's define it here. Let's define the end of a marriage. Maybe the end of the marriage is the loss of a lifelong partner, the loss of a best friend, the loss of a soulmate. Maybe the end of a marriage is a lifetime of dreams, plans and aspirations stopped, debunked, ended, shattered. Maybe the end of a marriage is a family separated. Oh, let's face it, marriage breakups are gut-wrenchingly painful. Many describe it as a feeling similar to the shock suffered following the sickening thud of a car accident. Only with a marriage breakup, the shock is sometimes relieved over and over again for months or even years afterwards. Oh, for me, I felt, I felt as if I was trapped in the barrel of a wave. A wave churning over and over again with hardly an opportunity for me to breathe, hardly an opportunity for me to draw breath. But the funny thing is, the funny thing is I did draw breath and life actually did go on. Winston Churchill says, and I can't do the accent, I won't even try, if you're going through hell, keep going. 
Well, we might not be experiencing Second World War during a marriage breakup, but it might feel like it. The road to redefining yourself, finding yourself, personal success following a marriage breakup is not a clear road. The road is not an easy road. It might be fraught with pain, and sometimes during pain, we might not take the most direct path towards healing and self-development. But there is a road forward. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a process, a process, a stage process with different levels, different feelings, different experiences. There is a process and guess what? Guess what? We can do it. We can do it.